Ella Bonset from Creative Dot Art Creative University Studio One Six is here, and I want to talk to you guys about the Pro EQ. It is now the Pro EQ Three. It comes stock inside of your install, and I am working on a mix drums specifically acoustic drums that was recorded in the studio and you guys know that there are several mics that are positioned at certain things in this case there's multiple mics on the toms snare drum the bass the kick the hi-hat the overhead for the crash right my job as a mix engineer is to clean up the drums and Erase problems, problem frequencies. So with that being said, the Pro EQ, let's just go ahead and just drag it over. So my job here, and this makes it so much easier having this update inside of Studio One Six. This is what we used to do. So let me play it. So this is the, the classic move. Narrow my cue here. So let me just show you what I'm doing. This is this is this is probably a free nugget and I, and I've shown this technique several times in some of my videos, but uh basically what you do, this is the classic mix engineer when you find problem frequency, you find it by boosting the signal. Right there. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm finding the kick drum, right? Like I told you guys, there's open mics on drums. And basically, the way mics works, there are some that's better than others. There's a diaphragm in front of the mic, and it's going to pick up everything. Now, because of how the drums are mic'd, which is typical, this particular mic is in front of Tom 2, which is what we have soloed right now. And it's also picking up the resonance of the kick. So every time the kick pushes through, it rings the tom. My job is to try to get rid of that because that's a problem in the mix. So I'm boosting that signal. And this is what we do. Once we find it, we just dip. Right? Can't get rid of all of the other drums because, again, this is a mic. But... Seeing that this is a dynamic EQ, I'm going to just bring in another EQ and just kind of do a comparison. And we'll see how well this actually works. I'm going to pin this here. And we're going to go for the other EQ. So this will be my, my basic EQ. This is what it was before. And this is the new EQ, right? So we're going to open up this dynamics button, show dynamics. And then we have a new section down here that displays your threshold and your range. So I'm going to go ahead and do this again. I'm going to deactivate this one. And this is going to be. Actually, I don't even have to do that. I'm so used to doing that. I'm going to put that back. Let's use the solo feature. And again, I'm going to narrow up my cue. I think right there. So this is a cool way to find the problem frequencies without even boosting. Right. So I'm going to activate this dynamic and start going to work. So your range is how much of uh, how deep you want to go. And then your threshold is, it kind of acts like a, th uh, a compressor, but it's not a compressor. I repeat, this is not a compressor. All this is doing is attenuating the frequency. It's like an automatic volume knob for frequencies only. It is not a compressor. That's not what it's doing. It's just attenuating. So this is probably a better way to EQ something 
to avoid affecting the entire tone of that thing that you're EQing, right? We all know what dynamic EQ, well, some of us do. So in this case, or in the past, we was downloading third-party EQs to do the same thing. But now this is a stock situation here. And, and I could still duck the EQ a little bit if I want to, just to kind of help tame things. Right. So like I say, these are mics around the kick and it also helps. There's another Tom that's right next to that one. There's a mic on that Tom or it don't even have to be a mic on that Tom. This is the fact that the drums are sitting next to each other in proximity and those other drums also comes through. So, you know, you might want to clean that up as well. But I think I did a good job because that is the frequency here that is problematic. And it's also taking care of like even not even just the kick it's the other time you, it, it, as you can hear. And I probably should have mentioned you should have headphones on to hear the ring that I'm trying to attenuate. Now, when doing this, you're, you're not going to get rid of all of the problem. You know what I mean? There's going to be some things in there. It's it's natural. These are acoustic drums. But it's all about the overall mix, preventing rings in the drum and making it clean as possible. So So if I bring that threshold back, it's not doing much. Is that ring is there? So if I take it off, activate. So if you're listening to the kick drum as it as it punched through, we don't really hear that kick that that often. You know what I mean? It's it's still there, but it's not as much. So let's activate the other one. Let me deactivate this one. And this is the process. This is this is what we are usually doing. But I'm cutting. I'm just straight cutting. You know. I don't really want to like cut the tom like that, you know. Deactivate it here. Right? So I'm gonna just deactivate it all together, reactivate this here, and let's take a listen to the entire drum. All right, so that is the process. I'm glad, I'm happy about the dynamic eq and if you couldn't really hear the difference that's totally fine because we'll be making more videos and we'll be testing this even further and i'm pretty sure over time with these updates they'll improve you know what i mean so i'm glad it is finally here it's something that should have been here a, a while but i'm more so grateful that it, this is here and we're talking about it this is a new conversation new topic for the future videos again ella creative sound Creative University signing off. Remember, music is argued artist. Paint your picture. Stay creative without rules. Also, subscribe because there will be more 
of these type of videos. All right.